What up, nerds? So we're here. We got this Awake in the Woods deck. People asked for the list, but I don't have Kyle on Discord or anything, so I couldn't ask for his list. So we're doing a deck tech. It has changed a little bit since last time. Yeah. Uh, last time it did not have the Grazers, the Stomper, or the Caryatids or the Reclaimers. It was running Getting Mana Dwarves. ahead of yourself here. It was running the uh, Mana Dwarves. It was running, things, it was so. running Mana Creatures instead of yeah. land ramping. Yes. KOS and birds. What? KOS Birds. KOS Birds is right. You always kill the bird. Bolt the burp. All right, so we're going to go over the mana base real quick. Two Besejus, three Abimakos, two Hinterland Har Harbor, two Dreamroot Cascade, one Ottawara, three Nykthos, not four. Uh, I only have three at the moment, and it also leaves a slot for the Dark Steel. Gotcha. And then Dark Steel, and we have one island, nine forests. And now I'm going to move these because they're big. All right, so like you said, you were running mana dorks before, and then you swapped them to yeah. the creatures that would find you lands, which is... Ironically, the exact same thing that Garrison did in his Simic deck. Yeah, no, it, it, it was not, very... Not this one. It, it seemed very effective, and so I, uh, I went after that, and it, it's worked pretty, worked pretty well today, all, uh, all things considered. Um, with that, the change of getting the Elvish Dreamers and the Arboric Grazers, I did drop a whole host of forests and islands for okay. the multicolor lands. Gotcha. So it was not running any dual lands before this, or the Nykthos. Uh, we dropped a Darksteel Citadel, a Beseju, a host of islands, uh, a couple, I think a forest or two for the Nykthos, and the dual lands in the Odawara. Okay, so what we've got for creatures, we kind of mix these all together. Uh, so we have creatures up yeah. here, and then four, two. four grazers, two caryatids, I guess we'll do that, um, and then four, four rejuvenators. rejuvenators. So those are play an extra land, find an extra land, and they're actually, these are actually really good um, because of the hexproof. So yeah. they're hard to remove, and they're a decent blocker for early game. Um, and then, let's see here. Four Snakeskin Veil. Yeah. Um, okay. I say, I was running Blossoming Defense as well. I was trying to okay. figure out what the best one-drop instant green protection yeah. is. Yeah. Like, Garrison runs talk about Tamiyo, eight copies and, yeah. of Tamiyo's Safekeeping. The, the life. The yeah. life gain is... It's way better. Really. Yeah. And also, um, Safekeeping, you can hit on a land. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you can just... If you need to gain two life, you can just gain two life with it. Um, so that's kind of why he went with that route. Um, and I agree. I think safekeeping is the better play. If you're trying to push through damage, I can see the counter being effective. Yeah. Um, so the, the first few times I played it, I ended up finding that all my creatures would trade like just slightly too weak. So yeah. I was looking at the snakes can fail on the blossoming defense, because the blossoming defense is a plus two, plus two, rather than the plus one, plus one counter. So Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So solve the equation. Yeah. What are we doing here? Uh, well, solve the equation is mostly you grab Awaken the Woods, or if uh, in the, a pinch, Awakening of Vitugazi. Um, so, primary target for Vitugazi would be Darksteel Citadel. This gives it like nine counters. Yeah, right? it makes yeah. it a legendary land, uh, gives it 9 1 1 counters, um, just makes it a big, beefy boy. And, uh, Darksteel and Citadel being indestructible, super helpful. Um, which is just a getting stuck short, we're not getting a Tatiova or whatever to um, get Awaken the Woods to, to really go. We can give it to you guys is just an alternative from solve the equation, but mostly solve the equation is going to grab a week in the woods. Or, in a pinch, a snakes can veil or a piece of removal. Sure. So, it's um, versatile. Yeah. Um, and then we've got, like you said, three Tatiovas here. Yeah. This is the DMU version because there are a bunch of versions of her. Um, yes. So, lands, land creatures you control have flying, so evasion. Yep. And then, whenever a land enters the battlefield, if you control seven or more of the one target land, becomes a 3 3. Okay. Yeah, and I will say the first few, the first twenty times I read that card, I read it similar to this one where it ends at end of turn, and it wasn't until I finally got through. Oh, it. it's this, permanent. It, it's permanent. Yeah, this it's permanently permanent. makes it a three three. Yeah. Which is. Square. And I'll bet somebody watching this video is now reading Tatiova going, "Holy shit! I didn't realize that either." <laughs> which is where it comes in with Awake in the Woods. This, right. You know, goal is to hit and Awake in the Woods. Doesn't matter how many lands you really have, as long as you have um, are producing enough mana to get you over seven. All of the uh, yeah the tokens so, you create. So will we'll be we'll talk about Awake in the Woods. So this is creating one one green forest dried land creatures. Yes. Uh, which because they're lands, they would all become. Well, you would all have triggers to make yes. things so, three threes. Yeah, yep. And yeah. so you can trigger so you can target whatever lands you may have. So if I have a Dark Steel back, I can not tap that for Awaken and then turn it into a three three and start swinging with that as well. Um, mostly you're going to tap out all, most if not all, depending on if you need to protect. Yeah, you know, if you need like a snake skin. Yeah, keep mana up for, yep. for protection or pre uh, preventing counters. Um, 
into it and just try and hit the board, make them all hasty flyers, three threes. You get big enough, you can just be lethal in a single hit. A single hit yep. so. And then we have Topiary Stomper. This was one yeah. of Garrison's pet cards. Um, um, so you can play it on turn two. Yeah, which is very helpful. Uh, honestly, Very it, good blocker early. It, it does speak to me most because it is a plant dinosaur. Um, I think that it's is a very just good an blocker. amazing creature type. It's a very good blocker. You play that fourth <laughs> land on turn three, it's ready to block. <laughs> Garrison's already shaking his head. Troll. That's right. That's right. But it does put... Is it seven lands to get it on? Yeah, so it, okay. same same condi- condition. I was Tatiova thinking it was seven. four, actually. Oh. Yeah, no, it's... But, I mean... You but, were, see, that's the difference. On your turn four, you have seven lands, so it's attacking. Yeah, so that's the thing. Is that's it, why I'm thinking four. You can, yeah. So turn one, Grazer with a drop. Yeah. Elvish Junior hits. Now you're looking at four turn, uh, four lands in turn three. You drop uh, Topiary Stomper with a land for turn. Right. Grabs another land, and then you hit your last land for turn. You're on seven. It's active. It's good yeah. to go. Garrison's done um, that a million times against you. Yeah. So you Theor- want to get to theor- seven by land. Turn Theoretically, four. you should be seven as soon as possible. As soon. As you, yeah. I think it's so. It's three lands on two. Uh, five lands on three. Three. And yeah, seven, seven lands on five. On four. 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 Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 So. All right, and then, like you said, you have this one. Basically, you're just making an indestructible 9-9. More likely. It, it, yeah. it isn't always going to hit the... Obviously, if, well, if one Dark Steel, no way to tutor for it. Uh, at the moment, I took the so uh, uh, Traverse the Ulvenwalds out. Mm-hmm. Um, but it can hit any land. So I, well, one of the games uh, today, I hit a forest with it, and that was a, they didn't have removal for it, so it was enough to be a, a threat that could... Obviously, they weren't playing Fatal Push. Big mistake. Honestly, that was the initial issue, was uh, I'd, I'd make a 9-9, like, and it would get Fatal Push. Right. Like, oh, God. Yep. So bad. Spend five mana and a land. Yep. All right, moving on. We got Embodiment of Insight, two of these. Yeah, so I threw it in today uh, to test it, and uh, I don't think I'm going to leave it in, but it's effectively a Tatiova. Okay. Uh, for it end does, of turn. It does to end a turn, but it gives Vigilance instead of Flying. Okay. So effectively, you can go to combat, swing with all the and land tokens, and then cast something in the second turn. So you can know, yep. hit them, do another week in the second turn or whatever, make a whole bunch more blockers, or solve the equation or thirst for discovery or whatever draw spell or removal we may have so yep and then moving on thirst for uh, discoveries you said you were probably pulling all of those cards out. yeah yeah so this this row is probably gonna get removed this i'm probably going to swap i'm thinking right now for I, i'm on the book fence um potentially like uh, behold the multiverse because what well, is one more mana it uh is also one less mana yes but and i can cast this on turn two yeah but i did kind of gut my basic lance so uh, when I was using this today, I only once did I actually get to tr- discard a basic land, so I'm going to discard two, gotcha. uh, two cards. So yeah. uh, the ability to scry two, then draw two, seems a little more powerful to me then right now. three cards, yeah. Than just three cards. You and could then potentially pitching, Potentially having to deep. pitch two, yeah. Yeah, and then I don't even know what this card is. Yeah. So Joel she's... Rael, Voice of Zelfir. <laughs> three, three, four, four. The beginning of combat on your turn, up to one target land you control becomes an XX green and blue bird creature with flying and haste where x is the number of cards in your hand whenever your land cre- okay so whenever a land creature you control deals combat damage to play a draw card that's yeah. what you care about that's that's mostly what it is in there yeah. for um it mostly hasn't been played uh i haven't really gotten a chance to see it in action which is part of why it's there also because it uh, it, it just is more draw and yeah. While I can get it out potentially on turn three, which would be super great, because uh, get out, then have a land, just start swinging. But yeah. uh, if it comes out later, uh, a 1-1 one, one bird or whatever, because I'm top decking, is going to be... Lackluster. Yeah. Garrison's going to tell you to run. Hydra. Say it, no, Garrison. No. Hydroid Graces. That's what he's going to tell you. No, no. We actually mm. talked about this. Oh. So, that's um, a fatal push. It's terrible. Uh, that's true, but like you a, still got the draw. Though. A decent, right. a decent fit for like there's a couple cards that were a decent fit. Like Tireless Tracker actually fits very well in this ship. Yeah, yeah. Um, it draws the cards, doesn't necessarily need the life gain. Right. Um, he didn't lack that aspect of it. It was just he needed to refill his hand. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, gets hellbent very very quickly. And, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Commits to the board and uh, wipes and anything like that can can be very detrimental. Yeah. So, All right. And then that's, yeah. that's actually another reason why I want to hit the uh, tokens and not my own lands with the uh, Tatiova trigger. So when I get board wiped, I don't lose my whole entire mana base. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and then we've said it in all of our deck deck videos, but the sideboard is probably more or less 
like made for this meta game, so it, it may not actually work in another meta game. Um, but we can talk about it. You've got four Terra yeah. Sunders. Do you have any way to make black man? So that was actually one of the things I was realizing as I brought it here. Uh, I took the Renin and I took the Swamp and the Renin Realm Breakers out, but yeah, okay. it's the Sylvan yeah. Carry added. That's we the do only have one. It's, um, so it's uh, much more limited. I'm probably going to take it out because I at least Besaju hits. The same stuff. The same stuff, except for when you kick it, which is still four mana, and it's always been so hard to pay for it with four. Um, and then, obviously, once it's four, you can hit anything. Uh, right. The Traxxas Fall was just because... Got a reader. Uh, yeah, it's honestly because okay. I hate the Angel's deck. That's fair. <laughs> I um, hate the Angel's it, deck, too. I, I pretty much... Uh, I play it out just because I might as well. I'm here to play. Yeah. But it, I sit down across the Angels, and I'm assuming I'm going to lose this matchup because... Uh, at least, I guess, maybe not as much now, but um, when they're three, four angels deep on turn four or five, all flying, gaining life, you're like, yeah, I guess I'm not doing anything because it's I... very steep uphill battle. Yeah. Yeah. So this is mostly just, if I can get it, try to remove the engine from the angels to slow yeah. down enough to get on the board and get going, but... Yeah. Uh, and then we got Cosmic another Hunger. reader. Cosmic Hunger. Oh, okay. This is the face yeah. punch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, the sucker punch. The, yep. Uh, instant one way. Um, really, it's probably going to be targeted with Stomper, deal four damage or something. Um, instant speed removal. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Um, Another awakening. Yeah, and then just an extra awakening embodiment in Tatiova, just in case I felt like I wasn't able to hit them or whatnot quite enough. Yeah. Um, All right. There's the list. Everyone that asked for it. Uh, you did say you were changing a few things. Um, what What have you got in mind? So behold, look, looking at these four or eight. Sorry. Um, probably going to actually add some more land okay. uh, and like I said Behold the Multiverse was an option uh, maybe some higher uh, end CMC cards uh, something just big and beefy to hit the board with and uh, do some work um, that's really where the idea, the thoughts are right now and so cool cool alright well thanks for uh, making the deck tech video with us yeah, I'm no sure problem. everyone watching will appreciate it too yeah. so cool we're out <laughs>